Hello, welcome to 4th Dimension Tarot. My name is Maria. I am your Sherpa for this read. If you're new to the 4D, welcome. Everybody's welcome here. I am doing individual zodiac signs for the week of February 25th through March 3rd. I can't believe it's already March. Oh my goodness. I uh, made a commitment to one of uh, the viewers that um, I would put Pisces first. Everybody else puts Aries first, so I'm like, Pisces is always last, womp, womp. and nobody puts baby in the corner. So um, if you have any interest at all in uh, getting a personal reading, and if this resonates, but it's not necessarily maybe hitting your on target, don't get, don't get emotional. Don't get, don't get frustrated. Check your other sign placements. But lastly, you might want to um, reach out to me for a personal reading while I'm still doing them. Okay. Pisces. This is so far interesting. I can't, I can't read and talk at the same time. Tell me about Pisces. Thank you. I'm going to take that one out and wants to jump out. Um, if you want a personal reading, you can reach me at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com. If you feel like this is your tribe, you like the vibe, please subscribe. Didn't even try to do that. It just did that all by itself. Isn't that crazy? But um, I, re I really do appreciate you subscribing because then you're notified. One, one, you're notified of new content. And when I upload it, you'll get a little ding. Second is... Uh, it helps the algorithm. It reaches more and more people. I have been so blessed, y'all. I get emails from all over the world. It's fun. It's, it's been nice. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you're living in Kentucky or South Dakota, where I'm from. Um, people are still struggling with the same stuff. So please keep the comments positive as more and more people are piggybacking on them and they're taking what they need and leave the rest. If this, like I said, doesn't resonate, feel free to book a personal reading or find another, um, another reader. It, find another zodiac sign to resonate with okay pisces what do you got going on february 25th through march 2nd first in the uh what's the tea you have fake accounts somebody is creating fake accounts so they can peek and spy on your social media uh haunted so somebody's traumatically missing you oh my goodness i can feel the lot this like the the loss in this card um they feel haunted meaning they can't get you out of their mind 24 7 uh, they want to, they want the inside scoop. They might be asking you for more information. And I think this is interesting because it came out on the weekend read as well. Be very cautious on who you're giving your personal information to people, Pisces or otherwise. Uh, just be very careful on how you're sharing your, your intel. Travel. You are traveling this upcoming week. Maybe you're working, uh, maybe you're going for pleasure. I hope you pack light and enjoy yourself and you're giving some money out, helping a friend out. That's the overall vibe. All right, Pisces, I think you're going to be reflecting um, the behaviors, I think yourself actually, <clears throat> as well as this relationship that you're struggling with. I can just feel it off the cards. I'm not even kidding. You have a 10 of wands in the upright, meaning you're dropping something like a hot potato. You are walking away from it. Um, under the fake accounts, you have somebody that you've turned around or walked by and somebody's wanting to revisit it or they're just butt hurt right? That you didn't accept them, or maybe you are. Okay. That being said, there's some secrets that need to come out. And ironically, it's right under the fake account. So me, I think should be sharing with you shortly that maybe they um, are watching you, spying you, they like you, and they just feel a certain way because they just want to be near you. They just want to be near you, Pisces. Who wouldn't be? Look at you. Of course, they want to be near you. So right under the haunted and the memories and the flashback and the trauma, this one, you have uh, the chariot. Somebody's going to be rushing in to have a conversation about it, as well as offering you a brand new cup of love. I don't think that's even a, like that's easy. That's that's this is. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't think this is work related. I don't. I also get that this is a past. This is a past love right there. Two reasons. One, you got the chariot or the uh, four of cups, meaning you turn this down prior. Any of the ten of wands is you've. You're dropping it. So this is, if it were fresh and new, you wouldn't be dropping anything. It'd be fresh and new, right? Inside scoop. Somebody's trying to get a closer look, be nosy. And I don't feel good intent. I'm sorry. I don't feel good intent on a couple of the, several of these cards. So Pisces, I don't know. I think you need to, to really consider, right? 
some of the some of the previous relationships you've had and discern if you need to um, protect yourself, protect your relationship, protect your image. Um, we got the uh, Four of Pentacles in reverse. And historically, that meant giving or uh, under giving what they could. They were selfish and self-centered. Uh, you got in the center of the spread, Pisces. You have greed, materialism, possessiveness, obstacles. You know, the challenge is going to be you facing some of these. And it's the emperor underneath is failure to leave, lead, ineffective, immature, weak. It's called my, you know, he's like a six-year-old at Walmart who sits down and throws a temper tantrum because he can't get that pack of gum. That's the emperor in reverse. It's not a pretty sight. Mm -mm, not. But right under the greed and right under the inside scoop, there might be some, a past love who's a little torn and possibly looking to make um, some waves in your life. So I'd be prepared for that. Travel, looks like somebody's trying to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and uh, under that, we have judgment in reverse, and we have the two of swords in the upright. So the judgment in the, in the reverse is inability to face facts, right? They just don't own, they don't own their things. They don't take ownership of the problems of the relationship. They don't wanna admit it's over. They struggle with um, accountability, closure, just they lack maturity. Whether it's this emperor, whether it's you, not sure. But the, uh, the two of swords is also um, stalling, indecisive, needing strength through suffering. So, you know, it, it's challenging. You're definitely up for a challenge. You have to make a decision of what you're going to do. The last two cards of the week you have <clears throat> is the three of pentacles in reverse as well as the Knight of Cups, my Saturday night, as we all lovingly now call him on every Tarot channel, I'm just saying. And the Knight of Cups is also in reverse. So this is a manipulative person, low quality, low vibration, preoccupied, isolation, sloppy, conflict, moody, idle. Like it's, it's, very, it's, it's a wide variety of petty, <laughs> of sad and petty. And I don't know how else to say this, but Pisces, just as a reminder, you have two major overall vibes off this. It's the Ten of Wands and your reflection card. As you're reflecting past to see when you should have dropped this, maybe when you should have walked away, when it was right, when it was right. And it's like too much. I just get the sense that there was just too much done in this relationship for you to revisit it. And even more so, I think you would love to correct what you can and go forward but I don't think you can. I really don't. I don't think you can, or I think maybe you're dealing with somebody. It's in your energy. It's clearly in your energy. And the last thing is um, there's a sense of, um, how do I say this? Um, you're trying to launch something. You're trying to get something off the ground, or maybe you are working with somebody who's trying to get something off the ground and it's not going well. Whether, I, I don't necessarily, I think it's a business relationship and a work relationship. That's the vibe I get. And whatever is happening, there's a lot of theft happening um, with ideas and I, you know, I think you're providing an idea and they're saying, oh, that's a terrible idea. That's terrible, why would you do that? Only to use it, right? Only to steal it. So I'd be very careful. Maybe if this is you, maybe that's part of the amends and some of the karma that's coming out here. I don't know. Um, but it does require, where is that? Reflection, reflection and going in. Um, but there's some definite sadness and anger, uh, resentment with the situation, with this person specifically. There's some smile in your face, stab in the back kind of feel to it. Um, so I'd be very cautious this week not only for you, but anybody you're dealing with, because that might be the perception other people are having. So I'd be very careful. This one's straight up. Look at this. This one, I went to go shuffle again, and this one's sticking straight up, and it's an obsessive lover. So somebody's obsessing over you, or maybe you are. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, karmic. So I just, I think I just said that in the reading before this came up. I'm just saying, rewind and check it out. Um, but that's the vibe I get off these cards. It's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. It's, it's, I would step away. Literally, your health, their health, everybody's sanity, nobody goes to jail. Just step away. <laughs> just 
I would, I would strongly consider going here, going to an island. Go find an island and just relax for a hot minute because I think you need a break for sure. This is a stressful situation for everybody involved. And unfortunately, it seems like it's it's at an impasse. You're done. I think you're, you're dropping this. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. How do I say this nicely? The outcome is going to be a tower. Either way, if you choose to do... Um, Try to get this person back any way you can. It's going to be a tower. If you're going to be honest, it's going to be a tower. If you're going to be dis dishonest, it's going to be a tower. If you want to salvage this relationship at all, I would consider strongly, strongly coming in with honesty, right? And that way you might have a shot. Just saying. Straight up honesty. That's the only way that this is going to be resolved at all. Regardless, even if it's fear. I don't know why I'm even saying all these words. I hope this resonates with you. I apologize if it doesn't, but there's so much to be said. It's work-related, so I guess it is a little work-related. I, I get the vibe. It's work and relationships, and they're equally yoked. They're equally they're tied together somehow. So if that's the case, and this resonates with you because you're dealing with a situation with somebody that you're having a relationship with at work, or you're just not, and you're dealing with somebody at work that is possibly stealing your ideas or your... I get you position. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot happening off this card, but um, be very cautious with what you're sharing on a personal level and be even more cautious if your intentions are not clear and clean. All right, this is an interesting read. Pisces, that is the week of February 25th through March 2nd. Would love to know if it resonates. Don't, if it doesn't, it's, I'm sorry. Just move on to the next one. This has nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, appreciate you all. Love and light. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. We want to hit people all the way on the other side of the planet. I'm working for Cyprus now. My friends there that they would love to see this on YouTube come up in their feed. So love you all. Have a great week. Take care.